scholarships and bursaries. What do they mean? How am I eligible? And what do they require? Hi everyone, it's Erica here with Grant Me, and if you're looking for the best advice on scholarship applications and university applications, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell. We'll be uploading videos every Thursday. Look, I get it. When Even when I was in university, I had no idea what the difference between a scholarship and a bursary was. But I'm here today to let you know what you should be looking at when you are applying. Okay, so what do these terms actually mean? A scholarship is a payment made to a student who needs help in affording their education. And scholarship awards are based off on merit. So you have to meet a certain criteria in order to apply to these scholarships. So each application is different. Uh, they'll look at your grades, your athletics, um, whether you are a leader in your community, how much volunteer work that you've done. Most scholarships are based on if you fit that criteria. For example, here we have the TD scholarship. So we're looking at what the requirements are and who's eligible for it. Uh, for this TD scholarship, um, the TD scholarships are available to Canadian citizens or permanent residents who are now in their final year of high school outside of Quebec or final year of say Jeff in Quebec in 2018-2019 school year. So when we look at that, you want to make sure you fit in that criteria and you'll be eligible for the scholarship. So when we look at the Trevor Linden Community Spirit Scholarship, um, they want, they rec sorry, they recognize four student leaders in the province of British Columbia who are entering their first year of post-secondary education. Um, and are in good academic standing and have made exceptional contributions in the following areas. School and community service, leadership, initiating community development, affecting positive change, mentoring others, personal development and growth, and good academic performance. So when you're writing this scholarship paper, you want to base it around community service um, and how you're a leader. And through that, you'll be mentoring others and affecting positive change. Alongside that as well is make sure that you have a good academic performance. Typically scholarships are looking at out about the 80% range uh, for your GPA. Now when we're looking at bursaries they tend to be based off of financial need. So people who simply can't afford going to school uh, can apply for a bursary um, which is most of us, <laughs> let's be real here. And so when you're looking at bursaries uh, under the financial aid requirement, you actually might not even realize that um, the definition of financial need, pretty broad. Uh, when you're looking at different applications, uh, you want to really look at what they're asking for when they ask you to describe your financial need. Um, such as parents, in they might ask you for your parents income, uh, creating a budget worksheet, or simply just a paragraph explaining how you are in financial need. Now let's take a look at this application for a bursary. And on this one, it actually tells you to break down what your um, you know, savings, so your summer income was, your part-time income during the education term. They ask you to describe every detail of what um, you need to know or they need to know um, in order to assess your financial need. Um, then you're also gonna put your costs in there for tuition, uh, your books, your room and board, transportation, and then miscellaneous. So they want you want to give them a broad understanding of what you have and what you need and um, they'll be able to better assess your financial needs. So that's one way of describing what financial need looks like on a bursary application. Another one is, uh, you know, they might just simply ask you to write a paragraph describing your family's financial need. It could be in approximately 250 words and you just telling them, look, um, you know, my family um, went through some hardship last year and it really affected us financially um, because of X, Y, and Z. Um, just explain to them what the financial adversity is and how that affected you. It truly matters when you're authentic with the scholarship committee and um, it increases your chances of winning when you can really get down to the truth of things. 
Lastly, the biggest takeaway that I want you to have from this video is understanding that scholarships and bursaries, the names of them, are used quite interchangeably between foundations, businesses, and schools. They don't even know themselves what the proper definitions are, so here is what you need to know. As long as you meet the requirements of what they're asking, go for it. Apply for it. It's this, this is free money that you don't have to pay back and we all could use a little bit of that for sure. <laughs> so I want you guys to comment below if you've ever been confused about the scholarship application process and what these terms mean. Um, Cause I've certainly had when I was in university which prevented me from a lot of opportunities that I could have been a part of. So comment down below and let me know have you ever struggled with the scholarship application before? Have you ever struggled with knowing what the terms mean? Um, I really hope that this video has helped you in understanding that as long as you're eligible, go for it and apply. Thanks again everyone for tuning in. My name is Erica and I'm here with Grant Me. We upload videos every Thursday, so make sure you turn on the notification bell to be notified and uh, to get the latest information on scholarships and university applications. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye guys. Need extra help with scholarships? Not sure where to find them? Take a visit at our website at grantme.ca and you'll be able to find out more information about our programs and book a free strategy call with one of our team members.